You're now watching The Wash daily. In news today, there was a report in Ireland, there's a bunch of medicinal patients who don't have access to cannabis, although they are able to purchase cannabis, and they typically would be getting it through the Netherlands, but they're not able to get it right now because the whole world is shut down because of the coronavirus. So what the Irish government has done is they've allowed them to have a courier deliver that cannabis and three months supply and a sort of one-shot deal and it's going to be very expensive, but they're able now to get their medical cannabis. Now, what's interesting is Ireland has a very long history of medical cannabis. In fact, in the 1800s, there was a man, Sir William O'Shaughnessy. And William O'Shaughnessy served in India. And during his time in India, he worked with a couple and their daughter had epilepsy. He saw their daughter cured of epilepsy using cannabis. Now, he and his dog... They both were sick and they used a cannabis tincture and they both got really, really high, he wrote. And then it says that they both were fine afterwards. So uh, it's a long time now that we've known cannabis is a cure. And so it's interesting that Ireland is saying, well, we gotta find out if it's okay. CBD has been used in our world until only about 100 years ago. From the first humans, they were using cannabis, they were eating seeds. It's been for the farm animals for a long time. In fact, up until the 1900s, that's what the farm animals were eating. Cannabis is a tremendous source of fiber, protein, omegas. It's an amazing food. Of course we should be eating. Hopefully they'll push forward their home grow or at least legal cannabis in their country soon. They're working on it. It sounds like they're really trying to get that fast track and make cannabis legal in Ireland soon. Ex-NFL player Kyle Turley, he started a cannabis company and he was making claims that CBD may offer a cure for COVID virus. He was arguing that cannabis supports your immune system and that your immune system supports your ability to fight off things like the COVID virus. He was saying by having a strong immune system, you would be stronger fighting off that virus. And so by using cannabis, you'll have a better chance of not getting sick. But he can't say that. The FDA issued him a cease and desist letter. They had to remove any of the claims made about CBD helping the COVID virus from any of his products or on his website. So what he did was he resigned from his position in the company. Instead now, he's just a regular person who has full free speech and his goal was to help people understand the importance of their endocannabinoid system. And he said the best way to do that is to rip down this ridiculous notion that cannabis is a schedule one narcotic with no medicinal use that's very dangerous and more dangerous than a list of other pharmaceuticals that they're putting into us every day. Charlie says he credits cannabis with saving his life and he thinks he can help a lot of other folks as well. Golden Seeds Company out of California conducted a survey of 1,200 participants. Of those participants surveyed who were cannabis users, 40% said that they were purchasing more cannabis than they would otherwise and they were stocking up because they felt that cannabis was an important item to have and they didn't want to not be able to get it. Of those users surveyed, 70% said that they were using it for reasons that were not associated with partying. Rather, they were using it to mitigate the symptoms of anxiety, and stress that they were going through as a result of being locked in their homes or without a job or without certainty of where their food's coming from, an array of things. The media is not helping either. They're definitely lying to us, and that's causing a lot of people to feel really uneasy about what's going on. It doesn't make any sense. It seems like they're shutting down small businesses and letting bigger businesses go. If you're not a business that does things online, they're getting rid of mom and pop shops and brick and mortars. It's a big transition to the way we're living. It doesn't seem like there's any end in sight, and so we don't know what it really means. Right now, it's probably more important than ever to do your own gardening, and especially growing your own cannabis. As we know, cannabis is a tremendous medicine. Everyone should have it in their medicine cabinet when the things come up. You can use it for glaucoma and diarrhea and eczema, muscle pain, muscle aches, lots of things. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.